Now, why do I wear this hat? Well, this is Northern Monkeys Escape Group uh, logo. The guy who created this is my mate Lee Red, and he's part of Escape uh, Freedom. He's part of uh, Northern Monkeys. So. Um, Regards to this box. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to review this beautiful EC box. She is absolute beauty. So, what ECs this box can receive? So, this box can take the Unity, the Storm Core, Spinted, and also Maker X EC unit with enough space for the cables inside and the switch cables and uh, a few uh, dongles if you're going for Metal Pro obviously for your receiver dongle. I really do like people who just create stuff. Okay, so this box in the front of you was fully designed and fully built by Red, which is hat off straight away. People who do DIY got my full respect at all times now the um, actually let me bring you a bit closer show you the box a bit closer there is the box so the base of it is uh, aluminium CNC out it is quite thick let's measure this out so the base itself is about eight millimeters which is quite good so the uh, heat will be drawn away from the EC itself. After this EC box will land on your deck, you will have space, as you can see, for your cables and also for some airflow. So this uh, base gets cooled down a bit with air going through these fins right here. Okay? Now, the cover itself, the cover for the uh, box itself, is actually real carbon fiber, seen seed out, to the shape and there is a nice little engraved logo red bolt customs very nice now this cleat will be held down uh, to the 3d printed yes you heard me 3d printed uh, box so the walls of the box are 3d printed but it's really nice and neat print uh, i'm not sure if you will be able to see it in the camera hopefully you will but as you can see there are almost no lines in the print very little also he does spray the box so outside of the box is sprayed up and i really like this spray because it does cover up uh, all the printing uh, lines and it gives it nice i don't know weird commercially type of plasticky rubbery feel to it which is quite okay so as you can see inside uh, the aluminium base the holes are already pre-drilled uh, for the ECs I mentioned before the stone core the unity spinted and maker X uh, the holes for uh, the spinted are actually threaded so if you are and the screws will be provided so if you are not using those holes for spinted you put the uh, screws into the holes which will make them uh, watertight and then use another holes for whatever you see you're going to be using well that is quite nice now you will have the cables the face cables traveling out of the box uh, via 3d printed uh, gasket okay so these are the holes right here and the uh, the battery uh, cables will come through this opening right here so your cables will be hidden underneath the C box which is quite nice most of the uh, guys out there using this method so this is how the um, rubbery uh, 3d printed gaskets look like I've ordered them uh, from red and red they're not cleaned up as yet I need to clean them up a bit right off the printer just because I don't know I want to give it a bit of a style because the board will be black and red the gaskets will be held down to the uh, aluminium with, with uh, some screws so they're not going to just fall out so you will put your cables through then you push it in and you tighten this up which is I think quite a good design so the actual box is screwed down to the aluminium base and there are bolts right here all the way around and in between you got a gasket so let me show you the gasket you don't need so many I've got the uh, red to print me some extras so if I decide to use red I will use red or if I go black then well I'm not coming back 
length. Now, so here it is, the gasket is really, really soft. It is printed, but the print quality is spot on. It's really good, it doesn't flake. It literally feels like rubber. I'm not sure what material there is. Maybe Red can, uh, yeah, comment on this video, tell us what this is, but it's really nice. So this will seal uh, the space between the uh, enclosure, the box and the base after you tighten up the bolts and also the space between the cover and the top of the box. This box is not 100% waterproof, but the only reason is these uh, gaskets where the cables go through. It's definitely splash proof. You can probably even wash it down with the holes from the top. As long as you don't flood this box, the water will not get in. The threads uh, inside the 3D printed part are uh, br uh, brass uh, inserts and they are positioned really really nicely correctly so as soon as the cover goes on you can catch every single screw all the way around and there's plenty of screws all the way around uh, to give this nice pressure equally all the way around to tighten up the cover and squeeze this uh, gasket right here so that is pretty much it with overview I can give you some dimensions just in case guys because you probably can use any other ECs in that as long as you know the dimensions. So let's get the cover off. The usable space from this indent where the insert is to the other side we got 137 millimeters. So 137 millimeters width wise. Is that the length? Not sure. So front to back the narrowest spot is 106 so 10 centimeters and six millimeters that's this way front to back now the depth wise and i'm not including the aluminium or the cover it's actual pure depth the depth that usable depth let's say this way 30 i'm getting old i cannot see anything so the depth is 30, 1, 2, 36 millimeters. That's the usable depth of the box, 36 millimeters. Okay, so that's pretty much the sizes wise. Now, let me show you how you fix this down to your board, which is, I think, again, uh, quite a good idea. So we remove the screws from inside. Two of them are actually uh, screws that are holding the rubber gaskets in. The holes inside these brackets are drilled in, so all the screws will be countersunk. So imagine this is on your deck, this two, you put this uh, aluminium bit right here, you're going to put the, the screws that the back of the deck straight through. They are countersunk, so they drop right in. Then you put another side and they drop right in. So these two screws are now holding up your trucks. Now at this point, you can finish off installing this or you can already put the box uh, on these rails. But let's fix the uh, rails first. Now your trucks are installed and your rails are fixed as well. Now as you can see, there are four holes and these four holes are matching up to the holes uh, inside the enclosure itself, which are also holes that are holding up the rubber grommets or printed grommets. Now this goes over, you tighten up the screws. Let's actually, let's actually do that because I want to show you the height at which the uh, EC sits on the deck and I'll tell you why it is designed this way. So this is now EC box fixed, then obviously you put the gasket and then you put the cover on it. And this is how beautiful this is going to look like. So why is this box shifted back a bit? As you can see, normally ECs by the manufacturer sit closer and they are in line with these fixing holes. Red decided to push it back. This is because of this annoying instance when you put your bindings on the deck, the binding that is closer to the EC boxes, the ratchet is always catching on the box. So you kind of end up pushing on the binding to get it tight. With pushing it back, you got more space so you can actually get to the ratchet. Brilliant, red, well done. This is very good touch. So this is how it's going to look like on your deck. 
This is Ram's uh, uh, board deck, which I will be soon installing on my uh, test board. As I told you, that's the space for the air and the cables. Very nice. I will be installing uh, this box soon uh, on this deck and also swapping this deck uh, with the deck on my test board. If you don't know what the test board is, have a look. The video is on the link in the description. It's quite interesting. We're going to test a few things. Also, I will be showing you detailed review of these Flipsky Motors 7070s as well. Uh, oh, one more thing, by the way. Red also makes this beautiful carbon fiber <laughs> X plate. Quite nice. That's going to match. Uh, the box because logo is the same so yeah this is really really uh, cool stuff and hats off it's all DIY very nice in his garage now let's talk about production this here is revision 3 Rad is now working a few little details on this box and the revision 4 will come out and hopefully he will hurry up, get this bit sorted. Uh, the base aluminium base will be uh, cut and anodized black and all that, but that's in the future. However, if you're really desperate and you like what you see and you're happy with the aluminium, which I am, for instance, because it does kind of match with the stainless steel screws. So to me, this box is already looking really good. You could potentially contact Rad on Eastgate Freedom or go on his uh, group, Northern Monkeys, and just PM him. Ask him a question, see how long it would take him to make one, how much they cost and all that stuff. Bear in mind, Rad is in UK, okay? So that's pretty much it. Red well done, it's another beautiful part, good ideas here, I'm uh, yeah, waiting for Red to cough up a few more ideas that will involve the battery and yes, you guessed it right, I will review it straight away. Well, that's it, build safely, ride safely guys, any questions, ask me in the comments, build safely, ride safely, see you soon, bye.